Welcome back to the Library Trust YouTube channel. In today's class, we'll learn how to make these beautiful drapes on a skirt. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this drape design on the skirt, I'm working with this pencil skirt that I already drafted. I drafted this with an Akaya fabric. Okay, it's going to be a bass corset. That's why you have this V shape here. So I just went down by by around three and a half inches, but it's totally up to you and the design you're going for. So if you're making a dress, you can just use your blouse. You can place your blouse on it to to get the measurement that you need for your bask effect. So I just want that bask effect there. That's why I just did this for my own so the measurement does not have to be four inches like i use just work with the measurements that you're working with so i've cut that now and when i open it up this is what it looks like okay so this is the new basque waistline that i have on my skirt and i'm going to be placing the drapes there so for my drapes i'm working with this velvet fabric you can use whatever fabric it is that you want for your drape so the first thing we need to note is the measurement and the areas we want to place these drapes. Okay, so to mark this house, I'm going to put this on fold again. Okay. So this is my pattern. This here is my waistline and the mark that I have here is my hip line measurement. So you need to decide where you want to place your drapes. You want you can your drape can stop on your hip line, it can stop on your knee length, it can stop anywhere you want. So for me, I'm just going to be going a little bit below my hip line. So from my hip line here, I can just measure two, three, four, or even five inches. So I'm going to be stopping it around five inches. This is where I want my drape to be. So for it to be easy for me, I'm just going to place a notch at that point before I open this hop. So now, once I open it up, I can see my notch on both sides. So my drape is going to stop here and here. Okay. So to know the amount of fabric you will need, you, can, you just need to measure what you have there. So from my waistline, I'm going to measure up to where I have my drape and I have around 13 inches here. So now I'm just going to multiply this by 2. And that's going to give me 26 inches. So I'm going to cut a fabric of length 26 inches. Okay. So I'll make the length around 26 inches. Okay. So I just want to check what I have here. So this is around 24 i'll just make do with what i have but if you want it really full so this is 24 just use like double or even triple of it because i'm working with velvet fabric velvet forms really nice drip so i don't really need much but if you're working with a lace fabric or ankara fabric you may need to add more to it so that you can see your drips formed very well so now i have my fabric here this is 20 this is a fabric of length 24 inches so now i'm going to put this fabric on fold and then get the midpoints of the fabric because i'm going to gather the midpoints so now i'm putting it on fold again and then i'll notch it so once i notch it and i open it out i can clearly see my notched point so using my ruler i'm going to place a straight line there so the stress line is going to assist me in marking in knowing where my center point is okay i hope you can see this okay so i've marked it with another mark so this is the center point of my favorite fabric so i'll set this aside now and work on where my center point is going to be for my main fabric okay so now from where my basque effect stops which is here this is the center fold i can see the crease line here but if you cannot see it you can just measure and mark it out so this is my center for my fabric so where my basket first stops here i'm just going to go down by two to three inches depending on what you want okay so i'll go down by two inches and then for the center i want it to be around four inches wide 
okay i want the width of the center part to be around four inches which means that this here is going to be where i'm going to gather my velvet fabric so i'm going to gather this center part that i marked on my velvet remember I just mapped out my center part. I'm going to gather it to fit into the measurements that I have here. Remember that I said I want the width to be 4 inches. Okay. I first went down by 2 inches. Then from there I measured my 4 inches. So this is what I want to be the width of my center fold for my drapes. So here now the 4 inches I'm going to go ahead and gather the center part that I marked here. I'm going to gather it to fit exactly into these four inches so i'll take this to the same machine now and gather it okay so i've gathered this to four inches as you can see and then i went ahead to sew it to the four inches mark that i made there so now spreading this out this is what i have the next thing is to drape this so to drape it because i'm still going to sew this back to my blouse i'm going to measure the allowance that i need for that so you can measure half an inch or measure one inch allowance so i'm measuring one inch so that i have no room for my drip okay and then i'll repeat the same thing on the other side also so it means my drip is going to stop around one inch below my waist and then it's going to it's going to start one inch below my waist and then it's going to stop where i placed my notch here so now i'll start to drip this so you I'm going to place this here the first one here and then i'll pin it so after pinning the first one i'll flip take the last one also and then i'll pin it to where i have my drip here where i have my notch for the last one okay so after pinning that also the next thing is for you to start forming the drips and arranging it to spread out the remaining space that you have so like i said because i'm using velvet you can see the little fabric that i'm working with you can see the amount of drapes that i have here so if you're working with a fabric that may not really form drapes like that for you you can multiply what you have that's the length that you have here by two or three inches so that you can have enough drapes to work with so after forming my drapes like this i'm just going to pin it and take it to the sewing machine and sew so after sewing it i'll trim off all the excess that i have here so i'm just pinning this so everything that i've done here i'm going to repeat it for the other side also and then i'll take it to my sewing machine i'll sew it and then i'll trim off the excess okay so now i've pinned both of them so the next thing is for you to flip it over and then sew along the line that you have here so after sewing it then i can now take out my pins and trim off the excess okay so you can also decide remember i used four inches to gather the waist so if you want it to be more pronounced you can just gather your waist by your center front sorry you can just gather the center front by three inches so that you have your v-shaped extending more or you just increase the length that you're using here so instead of going down by four inches from your waistline you can just go down by five or six inches so that it can spread out more evenly so now that i have this i'm also i'm going to turn it to the back again and then use this to trim off whatever excess that i may have on both sides okay so once i trim off the excess and i turn it out this is what the v is looking like now so you just need to arrange it well and you can see what this has formed for me so now i'll take this to the mannequin so that we'll see what it looks like okay so this is what the drapes are looking like now i can see how beautiful this is looking so like i said the perfect material is just perfect and it makes my drapes really come out beautiful but you can use any other material of your choice i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye